Welcome to Chicago. We are at Oak Street Beach. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark Sherman, and this is the final Gold Series event here in 2022. Love to come to the shores of Lake Michigan here at Oak Street Beach. Oh, it's just such a great event. The Chicago Open, we've been coming here for years and years and years here on Labor Day weekend, and it is just so much fun because well, one reason is the weather is fantastic. The volleyball is amazing, of course, and it's gonna be a great week, and the coffee's really good in Chicago as well. Mm. I hope uh, you're excited. I hope you are up early, especially if you're over on the West uh, West Coast. Wake up with us all weekend long here in Chicago. Once again, my name's Mark. I am very happy to be with you here to start the Gold Series weekend. So much on the line in every single match. And let's get to the first match of the weekend. It's going to be so, so good. We got the ladies coming out to the court first to be introduced by the DJ Ruscha. Good morning, DJ Ruscha. Oh, good morning, Mark Sherman. Thanks for the lovely talks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJ Roche. Mark Sherman is pretending to do TV, so you're going to have to be able to find my voice. Chicago AVP Gold Series, put your hands together this early morning. This first player played four years as an outside hitter at Michigan, was an ABCA All-American, second team her senior year from Indianapolis, Indiana. Put your hands together for Carly Scott. And her partner played beach volleyball at Grand Canyon University, and as a junior was named the ABCA Beach Volleyball All-American from Naperville, Illinois, Molly Turner. And their opponents. This first player won her first tournament in 2015, had a terrible celebration after the win. She was voted best server in 2019. She was born in South Dakota. I don't even know where that is. She went to college at Loyola Marymount. And most importantly, she's the mother to Cora. Put your hands together for Betsy Flint. And her partner won her first ABP tournament right here in 2017 in Chicago and quickly rose the ranks on the international tour and represented you, the United States of America in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Put your hands together for the Olympian, Kelly Chang. <laughs> Nailed it. N Nailed it indeed, DJ Ruscha. I don't even know where that is, South Dakota. Betsy Flint is who uh, DJ Ruscha was talking about, being from South Dakota. Spent a lot of time in Phoenix, Arizona as well. Her partner is Kelly Chang out of Fullerton, California. Chang and Flint, one of the many winners on the AVP Tour this year. In fact, on the women's side, every single event has seen a different winner. Will that happen again? Here in Chicago, we got a couple new teams, which we're going to be talking about, that will have an opportunity to be another new winner as the first kill here on Friday here in the 2022 Chicago Open. Comes from Turner and Scott. Molly Turner back to serve. one nothing. Molly Turner, pretty awesome for her to be in this one. She grew up in Naperville, just outside of Chicago. Her and her partner playing in their first AVP together, Carly Scott, originally out of Indianapolis, Indiana. These two qualifying via Seaside, tournament that happened between Atlanta and Manhattan Beach up in Oregon. They won Seaside, got an entry here into Chicago, and they're taking on Betsy and Kelly to get things started. We've got three straight side outs to start this match. Carly Scott back to serve the old school Indiana Pacers shirt on. Dish, Betsy Flint, and then easy does it up and over. Goes Kelly Chang. As DJ Rousset said, Betsy Flint, mother of Cora. Beautiful daughter with her husband Chase. And a little wrist away. Shot from Molly Turner around the block. Steady as they come here at the beginning of this match, 3-2.
Short serve. Good pass. Ooh, Carly Scott reading that on two all the way. But then the dig right back at you. Kelly Chang with another chance. The one arm dig. And Scott gets the kill to turn the first transition point. Great play from Carly Scott. Two digs on Kelly Chang in that rally. First read the on two, then that got that hard driven dig with the one arm. This one goes off the left arm of Carly Scott and into the cabanas switch off the back of the court. Here. We switch sides at 3 4. Kelly Chang, the season first in matches played, first in kills, first in aces. She's a dangerous player. Fifth overall in hitting percentage and sixth in blocks. Gets a lot of controlled blocks as well. A controlled block is when you, you get a touch on the block. It doesn't go down for the point, but it keeps the point alive. Maybe you give your opportunity, uh, your team an opportunity to get a hit after you get the touch on the block. I'll uh, point out a controlled block when we get one. She is uh, very dangerous from all parts of the court. Carly Scott has been in a number of main draws this year. Played in Austin with Gina Urango. Played in a couple of the lower level tour series events with Macy Jurger. They also got into Fort Lauderdale and the Manhattan Beach Gold Series. And now teaming up with Molly Turner after they got the win in Seaside. Perfectly played shot from Molly Turner to keep the two point lead 6-4. Molly Turner qualified for her for first AVP main draw back in 2017. This now her sixth full year on the AVP. She gets the ace for 7-4. Best finishes for Molly Turner. Third place. She did that last year in the shortened season. Third place in Atlanta with Therese Cannon. Of course, Therese Cannon now with Sarah Sponsel. Kelly Chang is your server. Kelly Clay is Chang. Molly Turner so good, she goes up. When she's in the air, she's taking a look and uh, really just trying to avoid the block of Kelly Chang. She's taking a look at where Betsy is behind her block and finding the open court. And she's able to have that vision partly because of how well she's passing, how well Carly Scott is setting her. As I look to keep that going, nine to five. How about this, Scott and Turner? with a four point advantage at the second side switch. Some errors from Chang and Flint and steady play so far from Turner and Scott. This is a 16 team main draw double elimination tournament. All 16 men's and women's teams make it to Saturday. The loser of this match will play tomorrow morning in the first round of the contenders bracket. Winner of this match will play later on this afternoon. Right up the middle with nobody at the net. Kelly Chang with the kill. I go, nobody goes, it's an ace right up the middle. Boy, that one started almost towards Carly Scott, then it ended up right in the middle. This one goes right at Scott. Nice set from Turner, Scott going heavy, but right at Betsy Flint to get back within one, no. We've got a ball on the court. That'll happen every once in a while sometimes when a ball Travels off the court and it's thrown back to the stadium. An unfortunate play, but thankfully not a dangerous one at that time. And we're going to replay the point. Of course, Molly wanted a chance to put that one away. They'll have to deal with another serve from Betsy. Oh, man, great job from Molly Turner to avoid the net. First of all, puts up a beautiful set and then keeps that right shoulder 
out of the bottom of the net. And Scott with the finish, 10-7. Short serve won't quite trickle over the net. Going at Turner now again, and deep angle, and it's out of bounds. So an error from Molly Turner, and it is back to a one point ball game, 9-10. A four to one run on the side switch from Chang and Flint. Two points to the technical timeout. And we're tied at 10. Molly and Carly's first AVP together, Betsy. And Kelly have been playing together all year long. Teamed up post Olympics after Kelly Chang played with Sarah Sponsel. They've got a net violation. The ball went down anyway, so Scott and Turner will keep the lead 11 10. This is the third and final gold series event. And, very important and the three gold the series events can qualify you for Phoenix. Well. We're taking a look at those standings right now. You take your best two out of three gold series finishes. The points just from those two out of three gold series to get you into Phoenix. The top four in the standings, you want to be above that yellow line. And then there will also be two wild cards given. So the only way to guarantee yourself a spot into Phoenix is to finish in the top four, and Chang and Flint are just hanging on. You see Sarah Hughes, Kelly Kalinske after their win in Manhattan. They are locked into Phoenix, as are Cannon and Sponsel. Muno and Wilkerson are looking good in third, but they're not playing together in Chicago. So there is an opportunity for them to get knocked out of contention for Phoenix. We'll be keeping you uh, up to date on those standings and talking about that throughout the tournament, because every match can mean something a little bit more Ah, uh, yes, the nerd alert, nerd alert officially, Mark Sherman, my championship deep dive. Now, there are a ton of scenarios. There's lots of possibilities about what can happen, where teams finish, where other teams need to finish for teams to qualify for Phoenix. And it is, uh, let's just say it's a little convoluted. A lot can happen. Some teams can guarantee themselves a spot to make it into Phoenix, like Kelly and Betsy. If Kelly and Betsy make the semifinals third or better, they control their own destiny. They are in to Phoenix. But if they finish fifth or worse, a few things can happen to knock them out of Phoenix. If you want all the scenarios, go to avp.com. You'll find the article there. You can download the PDF. I don't recommend reading the entire PDF because it's a bit mind numbing, but keep it on hand. So as the tournament progresses uh, and you're looking out for one particular team, you know what they need to do to make it into Phoenix. Betsy Flint will serve. 12-11 as Chang and Flint take the lead. They're on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 2 run. Now 7 to 3, it's 12-12. Attempts, eight attacks from Kelly Chang, just two from Flint. So you see Turner and Scott, their game plan go after Kelly Chang. She's had a few errors, and it, uh, it helped him get started on a, a nine to five here in set number one. But Kelly and Betsy, one of the best teams in the country, one of the best in the world. When they figure it out and they lock in, they are tough to get the ball down against, as Betsy is showing us right now, and Kelly Chang finds the line on two with the pokey. The self-cover, keep it alive, and then Kelly Chang so good. If that pass or that dig is on top of the net, she has just got so many options. She sees the court so well. Into the net, but it will fall. Kelly's momentum after the block was taking her the other direction. Didn't quite have time to turn and grab that one. It's 13-14. Off speed.
speed up and over the block in the angle 15 13 as we switch sides. Molly Turner's got some support in the crowd here in Chicago. Betsy and Kelly looking to lock things back up. They had a win in Hamburg where they just ran through the competition at an FIVB international tournament and then came to Manhattan Beach. They were looking pretty fantastic. Five straight wins in Manhattan Beach and then against Sarah Hughes and Kelly Kalinske just had a fantastic final. 15-13 in the third. That one will sting a bit for Chang and Flint as Hughes and Kalinske got the win, but they reset. Another gold series here in Chicago and Chang and Flint have sealed it up here. They're playing pretty well after a slow start. You got next level data powered by Connexon as I was talking about that. You might have seen the distance covered stat. All the athletes wearing little packs on the back of their uniforms by Connexon. It'll show you how many uh, feet the players cover during a match and how high they jump, how many jumps they take. Really gives you an idea of how athletic and impressive our ADP athletes are some of the best athletes in the world. You think running and jumping for an hour or more many times a day is difficult. Try doing it in the deep sand. And we're going to take a team timeout, 18 to 14. Chang and Flint have turned it up a notch after going down 9-5, now leading 18-14. Taking a team timeout. I told you we've had a different women's winner at every single event. For Betsy and Kelly, they got their win here in 2022 in New Orleans. This gives 30 more seconds to talk about me. The number two seed of Taryn Clove and Kristen Nuss will be taking on Kelly Chang and Betsy Flint. And there is Kelly Chang, Kelly Chang crushing the ball. Right there with an extreme angle. That thing was correct. With time to Flint and over on the second time. Nice pass by Dang. And then a nice loopy shot to the angle across court. Chang and Flint have really been playing as well as possible. Everything seemed to be going their way. Jumbo to the corner. And then we'll serve it. Challenge Kristen Nuss over on two is close. It's blocked. Yeah, that will do it. 21 15, 21 15, and just like that, Cam, this thing is over. Great moment for Betsy and Kelly and doing it in NOLA against the hometown favorites. Here are your women's champions, Taryn Cloth, Kristen Nuss got the first win in Austin. They were looking to repeat in New Orleans. Chang and Flint had different ideas. And from the very beginning, always a new winner. You never know what you're going to get at the AVP, especially on the women's side. A lot of different winners on the guys' side as well. Finally had a repeat in Manhattan Beach. Kelly Chang, after a slow start, has been Non-stop. Twenty to fourteen. Set around or twenty to fifteen. One. And that one's Switch just size. out of bounds. It'll be another set point for Chang and Flint. Yes, yes I do want to. Oh, I just heard DJ Rouché say on the mic. I don't know if you heard him in the background. He said, yes, I do want a cookie. That must mean that Kim, my wife, has broken out the chocolate chip cookies that my mother makes every year for the crew here in Chicago. 21-15, Chang and Flint. Man, what a roll here in set number one. It was a bit of a slow start. It was like, okay, when are they going to turn it on? Well, they did turn it on, and they take set one. The AVP is brought to you by White Claw Hard Seltzer. By Waikea Hawaiian Volcanic Water. Live Aloha, drink Waikea at waikea.com. By KT Tape, helping athletes of all levels train longer and finish stronger. And by Clean Skin, high performance sunscreen and skincare products for the outdoor lifestyle. 
At Corner Bakery, we're making your choice simple with choose two options every day. Choose two of your favorites and turn a simple lunch into a perfectly paired meal. And we're not talking about a few choose two options. Pair up any sandwich or panini, any cafe fresh salad or warm simmering soup, or any pan sauteed pasta. So many kitchen crafted options, so little time. Your perfect choose two combination is waiting at the Corner Bakery. Dear Mainland, aloha. My brother and I hear that most of you only disable your phones when you fly. You call it airplane mode. But maybe you don't have to get on a plane to get away, yeah? Allow my brother to demonstrate. You know what we call this? Kona mode. One life, right? Mahalo. Longboard Island Lager and Big Wave Golden Ale from Kona Brewing. Those ratty old gym shorts that you have from college, they're done. Get them out of here. It's time to upgrade your short game with the one from Fabletics Men. We love them. Your girlfriend will be stealing these. They're the best. This fabric fixes another major issue, fit. It's got this crazy stretch to it that looks so cute when I do my yoga or errands or like literally anything. They're the most comfortable, best feeling, luxe-tastic fabric that we have ever worn. It's the choices we make that define us. Try and Trevor is coming off a tough, heartbreaking loss. And ultimately, the enemy is within. Some people want it. Some wish for it. But others make it happen. Try and Trevor is super lethal, bringing fire and passion to the court. How will you take charge? Back in the stadium court in Chicago as the athletes take the court again. Betsy and Kelly, 21-15 in set number one. The number four seeds here in Chicago. Now they've they've been a little bit higher seed. I'll talk about, about that in a second. Chang and Flint, after a slow start, they really sewed things up. Ended up hitting almost 600 as a team. Eight digs, most of those by Betsy Flint. A few aces from that team as well. For Scott and Turner, actually not, they didn't play terrible. 421 hitting percentage. That's not what you would expect from a team that loses by six in a set. So it wasn't a ton of errors for Scott and Turner, but it was a lot of keeping the ball alive from Betsy and Kelly. First kill in this one goes to Molly Turner. Side. Betsy and Kelly coming in as the number of four Anything seed here in Chicago. You can follow along all weekend long, see where and when your favorite team is playing next and see what seed all of them are, where the bracket's at at abp.com slash brackets. Nobody up there, big swing, Kelly Chang, another kill. It's 2-1. The number one seed here is Kelly Kalinske and Sarah Hughes. The number two seed finally getting knocked off that number one pedestal is Sarah Sponsel and Therese Cannon. And number three is the team that's, well, they've never played together here on the AVP. Melissa Umana Paredes and Brandy Wilkerson as we see a heavy arm of Betsy Flint. 3-1. So Melissa Umana Paredes and Brandy Wilkerson. The pair from Canada, not a team internationally. Brandy Wilkerson plays with Sophie Bukovec. Melissa Umana Paredes did play for a long time with Sarah Pavin. Those two just announced they are no longer a team on the FIBB World Tour. And now both Melissa Umana Paredes and Sarah Pavin are here in Chicago, but with different partners. The drama. 
Oh, I love it so much, and I hope they play each other. I hope that's so bad. That's what I want. I need Sarah Pavin and Tina Gradina to play against Brandy Wilkerson and Melissa Umana Paredes. The kill from Carly Scott. She'll go back to serve at 3-3. So a couple of brand new teams here in Chicago. Mel and Brandy. Brandy Wilkerson had played with Zana Muno. A couple of third place finishes in Atlanta and Manhattan Beach. Looking pretty good to qualify for Phoenix, but not locked in. And they don't have a chance to improve their standing as Brandy will play with Mel. We switch sides. 5-2 at 3-3, but it is 5-2. And then Tina Gradina. We saw her get the win in Fort Lauderdale with Haley Harward, the player out of Latvia, represented her country in Tokyo in the Olympic Games. And now is teaming up with Sarah Pavin. That's going to be a fun team to watch. A couple of blockers. Sarah Pavin, multiple time best blocker in the world will play with the young Tina Gradina out of USC. Can't wait to see how they pair up together. They're coming in as the five seed. Guiding that one down to the corner. That's Kelly Chang. And you might wonder, well, they haven't played together before. We haven't seen Mel all year. How are they the high seeds? Well, Mel and Sarah have done very well. And uh, look at that, the winner of this might just get Mel and Sarah, Gradina Pavin, or Khan and Mulaney. Winner of that gets the winner of this one yes, yes, yes. later on today. That one's just out of reach. It's 4 6. Right now, Gradina and Pavin off to a good start. They're up one set to none in their first match as they take on Carly Khan, Kayla Mulaney. And Tina and Sarah are up 15-12 in the second. So it's looking pretty good like those two will take on Kelly and Betsy. But Molly's like, hold on, Mark, hold on. Where are you going? We're early in set number two. I apologize, Molly. You are right. We are early. Betsy Flint gets the kill up by 3-7-4. Love the firepower coming from Betsy early this morning. So there's a lot of fun things happening, especially with the women's side of the brackets, which we'll be talking about all week and long. Carly Scott will go back to serve. Carly, again, out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Played her college ball at Michigan four years on the indoor side as an outside hitter at the University of Michigan. ABCA All-American, second team All-American. Right up the middle with nobody at the net. Up the middle, always a good place to put it. Kelly Chang, she'll serve. We're going to take the side switch at 6-8. 6-8, switch the side here, set number two. It was a bright start to this match. Sun was out, not guarded by any clouds. Now a few wispy clouds are in the way. Uh, they're more than wispy. They're blocking the sun pretty good. Really good volleyball weather right now as Carly Scott uses the equipment. I always like playing volleyball when there's a bit of cloud cover. All four of these athletes still wearing the sunglasses. I was always a fan of, well, not necessarily a fan of playing without sunglasses. I just hate playing with sunglasses for some reason. I know, it's not good for me. I should wear them. You should protect your eyes. Not suggesting it, I'm just saying I don't like it. Perfectly placed shot right on the sideline, 9-7. Thought we might be in line for a tie game at 8-8 after this scoop for Molly Turner. Great job from Carly. And then the pull here, it was a good pull. You can see that Kelly was going off speed. 
but she puts it perfectly up and over Carly. That serve is out of bounds, and it's 8-9. Molly at the line. Ooh, the pull again and the dig back over the net. Carly Scott, just when I was about to say, man, another pull from Scott, another kill from Chang, another late pull, which give, gives Chang a lot of room, but Carly knows her tendencies, knows her short shot tendencies, and Scott's there. That serve is short into the net, it's 10-9. Carly Scott gets the, gets the uh, she gets the stat for a dig and a kill on that play. Kelly Chang, 60 jumps. You see they are going after her on the serve. 60 max jumps. That is a lot of jumping. As we're only about to the technical timeout, almost to the halfway point. Betsy thought we were there, but it's just 10-10. Somebody will have a one-point lead at the Tech. And it will be Chang and Flint, 11-10. Halfway through set number two. 11-10, here is set number two, taking the technical timeout. And we've seen the TNNS dig of the day, and it came from that young lady, Carly Scott. Just a couple. Uh, points ago and it was the late pole what a play and just barely able to get her hand on it and somehow guides it back over the net and you know what sometimes it falls just how you plan it when you execute a good play sometimes luck will favor you as well the TNNS dig of the day from Carly and Scott those two making it here to Chicago by winning Seaside, the biggest beach volleyball event is in terms of number of players, number of courts in America. Carly Scott here with six kills in Chicago in their first match, a couple of digs, no errors from her. Carly and, and Molly in Seaside, it is such a fun environment. You gotta fly into Oregon, fly into Portland, drive a number of hours to the beach. It takes a while to get there, but once you're there, you are in beach volleyball heaven. A very, very fun crowd. The town all comes together for one weekend a year, that second weekend of August. And the top four finishers on the men's and women's side able to get bids here into Chicago. Molly Turner with the kill back home here in Chicago. French fries on the board, 11-11. Perfect pass from Betsy. Betsy played her college ball at LMU. She gets the put away. And of course, Betsy's partner, Kelly Chang, played her college ball at USC. Betsy on the indoor side at LMU. Kelly on the beach side with her partner, Sarah Hughes. They uh, really got that beach game going in the NCAA. They were there right at the start of it or well about at the start of it, and they uh, sort of took the college game by storm. 12-12 on the other side of the net, Molly Turner out of Grand Canyon University. And Carly Scott played at Michigan, played indoor at Michigan. Molly got some indoor and beach in at Grand Canyon. to take the lead, Scott, and Turner, 13-12. Man, when you saw it was 7-4 to start this one, and of course, it was right when I said it looked like Chang and Flint might be running away with this one. About right when I said that is when Scott and Turner turned it around, and now they take the lead here in set number two, leading, or rather, yeah, looking to force set three. It's 13-13 now. 15 kills from Kelly Chang, just the one hitting error. Now 16 kills, one hitting error early on. Hey. 
On two, that's pretty tricky. Carly Scott, man, she did that so quick. 14, 13, Molly Turner back to third. I thought she was setting this all the way and then little mini jump. Got her hand up there, extended high, was able to get it down with a lot of pace. A lot of pace on that one as well as we take our switch at 14 14. Kelly Chang, a multiple time national champion out of USC. And man, we got a lot of national champions here, don't we? Therese Cannon out of USC a couple of times. Kelly Chang won in the AVCA national championship when it turned to NCAA. Tina Gradina also out of SC as Sarah Hughes, Megan Kraft. All five of those players, women of Troy. And Sarah Sponsel and Savvy Simo out of UCLA, the Bruins, with a couple of national championships as well. Off the block, I'll cover myself, but that cover referring to... That was a great controlled block from Kelly Chang. Got the touch on the block, kept the ball alive. And another controlled block, but this one went back to Scott. She... Got right back up off the sand on another chance and got the kill to keep the lead. She'll serve. Pretty good one. But a great pass. The set's a little tight. No problem, though, for Kelly Chang to go up and over. Kelly Chang using that big height advantage over Carly Scott. As Kelly Chang extends that hand and that arm so high, when she gets it at her highest point, she is really hard to stop. to keep the lead 6-5. And I say a big height advantage, it's not that big on paper. 6-1 is uh, what Carly Scott's listed at. Kelly Chang listed at 6-2. But again, such a high contact point. She's a really good jumper. Gets the kill off the hands there. It's 17, or rather 16-16. So continuing to go after Kelly. Our Scott and Turner. 13 digs, almost twice the number of digs in this match, Chang and Flint. Well, I felt so lonely here in the broadcast booth, and it, continu it continues to fill up. Everyone's here. Cameron Irwin's here. Dane Blanton ready to take over the next match. My man Pierce. Oh. That cowboy hat is just so fantastic. If you've ever been to an AVP and you see a guy running around in a cowboy hat, his name is Pierce. He looks like he should be at the rodeo, but he is, in fact, at a beach volleyball tournament, running all things, controlling all things technical. He's got four to five walkie-talkies on him at any point. Into the deep seam goes Kelly Chang. The side outs continue. We've had, let's see, it went to 13-12 for Scott and Turner. I think since that point, we've had nine straight side outs. Ooh, a tight set. Molly deals with it, earns her team another chance by using the block. Betsy with another dig. Oh, my goodness. What a rally. Tight set. Nobody up there. And Molly Turner, the emphatic finish. It is crunch time here in set number two, 18-17. Boy, and from the start, very happy to take a look at this one again. That was a tight set. Great job by Molly going right into the block. She knew her partner would be there to cover it. And then laying out with the one arm dig. And the strong finish. Love the aggressive finish on the transition points. Another tight set. Power pokey goes Kelly Chang with nobody up there. Tough position to be in if you're Carly Scott on the tight set, but not too tight. Not tight enough where Scott could go up there and grab it before Kelly's able to get to it. Three to one in terms of hitting errors. Three for Chang and Flint, just one for Scott and Turner. Pretty high level start to this tournament. Four errors between the two teams is not that many. It is a fun one to watch. It is 19-18.
Make it 13 straight side outs, 19-19. Who will break first? We've got Deuce here in set number two. Kelly Chang, four controlled blocks and one terminal block compared to just one controlled block for Carly Scott. That could turn out to be a difference here. Kelly Chang now at the net as Betsy Flint back to serve. Kelly Chang with the stuff to take the lead at just the right time. 2019 advantage Chang Flint. And look how high and look how far over the net Kelly gets to keep that one over there. It's match point. Going after Molly again, tough serve. Pretty easy dig, Kelly Chang for the finish, yes. Chang and Flint at the end of set number two. 21-19, Kelly Chang with the stuff, with the pull, the dig, the kill. And they are through to the second round of the winner's bracket. Coming up next. Boy, that was a fun one. It was a little bit back and forth, especially and at the beginning. Kelly Molly and Carly got off to a 9-5 to five start before Kelly and Betsy turned it around in the first, and then it was tight all the way in set number two. Great job here early morning from Kelly and Betsy to power through that one from the tough, tough team of Carly Scott and Molly Turner, who were coming off a win in Seaside. We get set for the next match. We check out the Bally match stats. Scott and Turner versus Chang and Flint. About even on the attacks. The kills, though, look at that. 32 kills for Chang and Flint. Just three errors. Not a lot of errors for Scott and Turner. I think uh, maybe only one, one real hitting error out of bounds from Molly Turner. But like other than that, pretty high level match. 644 hitting percentage to 477. That makes for a fun one. That ace was to tie the game at 10-10 in the first set as Kelly and Betsy started their return in the first. They would get to 12-11 uh, there. They would eventually close it out 21 to uh, 15. And we see the pull from Kelly Chang. Betsy Flint on defense covering herself. The creativity from Kelly Chang. This was set point in the first. It just uh, it took two set points. As they switch sides at 2015, they got it done. And then we thought they were going to roll here in the second as they were up 7-4 and 8-5. But Molly and Carly really fought back to back within one at 7-8. The scoop there from Molly Turner. A lot of long rallies in this one as Molly and Betsy were real, real good on defense. But at the end, Kelly and Betsy would take over to take the lead again at 2019, a block by Kelly Chang, and then the final kill to take their first match here in Chicago. The Gold Series continues in just a few minutes. Sarah Hughes, Kelly Kalinske, the number one seeds will take on Delaney Mwerder and Kelly Reeves. And we are off, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it tuned here for the rest of the weekend. This is Chicago.